The opening day crowds are out in force at Copper and Breck, soaking up the sun. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. That's a group of about 25 ski club racers from the East Coast saying what thousands of skiers and riders were thinking at Cobber opening day. Sun and top to bottom skiing brought everyone out to Center Village, including 16 year old Bella from Sun Valley coming off an ACL injury. I really hope to make it to champs this year. Last year I had a really tough season. I tore my ACL and so this year is just like my comeback season. So hopefully I'll qualify for some good stuff. Joining the ski racers were Joe and Garrett banked slalom snowboarders with adaptive action sports, getting one last day of training before a race in the Netherlands. Garrett. I lost my leg in a car accident about three years ago and I was like I want to do something with my life so um, I started searching on the internet and they contacted Amy Purdy and I got hooked up with Daniel Gale and Adaptive Action Sports and it's just been just a, a world of difference. It's awesome. Even the Forest Rangers were making turns today, including Marcus Drew. We're out here with the Forest Service. I work real closely with the resorts on the, the permitting here, and we're just out here reminding folks that they're recreating on uh, National Forest land. Copper celebrates all weekend with free live music by Tea Leaf Green tomorrow and local favorites the Chris Bauer Trio Sunday. Over at Breckenridge, Colorado and Rocky Mountain Super Chairs are spinning with 200 open acres on Peak 8. They'll be hosting Australian electro act Roos Fist is Soul November 23rd for the Mountain Dew Snow Dance Concert. County officials yesterday released results from a workforce wage survey designed to gauge your interest in a minimum wage higher than $12. 1,069 people took that survey, showing that locals tend to work two or more jobs, averaging 50 hours per week, and most make about $18 per hour. If they don't, they're earning $13.80 to $15 per hour, just about equal to the local self-sufficiency standard of $14. Between 70 and 80% of employees say they want a local minimum wage higher than $12. That survey also gives a snapshot of popular industries in the high country, showing retail and restaurants are the most common part-time jobs. Retail and hospitality employ the most full-time workers. Restaurant employees make less than anyone on average. The majority earn less than $14 per hour, and one-third earn less than 12 bucks. Calling all basketball players. There's a free throw contest coming to Summit County, and the winner gets a trip to the state contest where, maybe, they'll earn an all-expenses-paid trip to Chicago. The Elps Club Hoop Shoot Contest is for locals between 18 and 13 years old, held this Sunday, November 10th, 9 a.m. at the Breck Rec Center. All you've got to do is make more free throws than everyone else. That's this Sunday at the Breck Rec Center. Sign up through elks.org slash hoopshoot. In sports, the Avalanche overwhelmed the Predators last night 9-4. Tonight, the Nuggets face the 76ers at 7 p.m. Tomorrow, the Avs play the Blue Jackets, and the Broncos have a bye week this Sunday. And in local sports, brought to you by American Family Insurance, the Weiss Agency, Summit High Football lost to Palisade last night 42-6. The Tigers end the season at 3-7 overall, 2-3 in the league. Tonight is season opener for the Breckenridge Vipers semi-pro hockey team, playing the Utah Blizzard at the Ice Arena in Breck. Puck drop is 7.45 p.m. Get your tickets at the door. And on Sunday, Summit Girls Rugby plays at the State Rugby Tournament in Colorado Springs. They'll be defending their state title for a 12th straight season. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.